Are men and women all that much different? Is the thought process all that much different? Are men and women from different worlds? Stick around. You're about to find out. Are men and women that different? Oh my God. Welcome to Noon Hour Out of the Box. I'm so excited to be here. This is our second episode and we had a great response to our first one. Yes, the ladies did respond in that, Robert, what's the big deal with having a large purse? There isn't a big deal. I'd like to thank our producer, Jenny DeHame, who helps us enormously with this uh, bot podcast and to my co-host, Mr. Robert D'Alessio. Let's bring him on. Hey, Esther. <clears throat> Hi, Esther. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Esther, do me a favor. Don't get me, yes. started, with, don't get me started with the purses again, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I had a hard time getting over it, you know? So you know what? Let's move on to more fun things. Like, you know, how about giving a shout out to all the folks at MSOPA? A big shout out to our friends at MSOPA. Esther and I appreciate all of the amazing work that you've done with us, all of the workshops we've taken with you. That has helped shape us as performers and as entertainers, and we're able to do our podcast with confidence. And at the same time, while we're talking about MSOPA, why not wish Joe Samal, the founder of I have MSOPA, an enormous happy birthday on the part of everybody here at Noon Hour Out of the Box. Happy birthday, Josa. Esther. Yes. So let's get the ball rolling here. Holy moly. I, I, I don't even know what to expect. So what do you want to talk about? What's on your mind? Obviously, the differences between men and women. Well, What do you got to say about that? I have lots to say about that, actually. You know what? <laughs> I, I'm having a hard time with the thought process, the way a woman, uh, the way she thinks, okay? It's, uh, it's so different. I'm going to give you an example. One of my exes, uh, well, actually, my main ex, uh, at one point, she stopped talking to me for three days. And I was telling her, like, what's wrong? What happened? You know, like, we're going to talk about it. She goes, you know damn well what happened. I go, what happened? She didn't want to tell me. She went on for six months. I, I, eventually, she started talking to me like three or four days later, as if nothing happened, by the way. But six months later, she throws that at me. You know what it was? It was something as ridiculous as I cut her off in her sentence while we were at my family's place. We're talking about gardening. She felt that I interrupted her, and she was all mad and insulted. When on the other hand, all she had to do is like, honey, can I finish my sentence? No. She got all mad and insulted, and I had to figure out what happened? It's like, can we please be clear? It's black and white, right? I'm upset. You cut me off. Just tell me as it is. Don't make me guess. Because if I want to guess, if I want to play games, I'm going to go to Walmart. And I'm going to pick up one of those games there. <laughs> what do you call that game there? Monotony. I'm going to pick up one of those monotony games if I want to play games. So that's my beef. Yeah, but well, that's ridiculous because... There definitely are differences between men and women, and especially in the way that they think. And but it's threefold. It's you know physiologically, it's socially, and and even hormonally. So you know women have a different wiring than men do, and they have you know in terms of hormonal, they we have the same hormones, but women have more estrogen, and men have ten times more testosterone. And let's face it. Men and women are brought up differently. There's that as well. There's the social aspect. So, you know, there are definite, definite differences. So, you know, you're looking at things in a very black and white way, very logical. And with women, it's, it's, there's five or six different ways to look at things. And they have, you know, much greater memories, especially for details. And it, it's, you know, it's just part of who we are. So, you know, it, it's nothing personal. 
It's just that we think differently. Oh, do we ever? And, you know, I don't want to get too personal over here, but I can remember, you know, <laughs> there were times like, you know, like, I, hey, you know, uh, what, what's a, uh, the term for that? A uh, humma humma or whatever. And it was like, you know, I was like uh, into it, you know. And she got up the next morning. She was telling me, well, if you would have made your move, I was like already oh, like, really? It's like, how am I supposed to guess? How am I supposed to? Please, like, tell me. Like, can you just tell me out straight? Hey, honey, you know what? You want to hit the cover? It's like, be like open, talk about it. No, no, no. I have to figure it out all over again. And, again, yeah. again, Robert, again, women are more visual. I'm sorry. Men are more visual when it comes to that area where women, it takes, you know, there's, there's the mood, there's the, uh, uh, you know, the, the actual area that they're in and, you know, things that are, to said to them that's verbal it, it's it's emotional it's visual it's it's so very different so again there are definite differences when it comes to that area as well esther please you know like look i, I don't know how to explain myself anymore like you know okay esther what's this <laughs> that is a pen thank you what color is it it's blue okay the whole point is right Tell me, honey, can you please get me a pen? Why are you telling me things in the likes of, you know, like, it's not exactly phrase word per word, but this is what it means, like the way a woman might be thinking. Can you please get me an instrument that I might use as a form of communication? You see the difference? Instead of saying, give me a pen, no, no, get me an instrument that I can use as a form of communication. How am I supposed to guess that? Is it a walkie-talkie? Is it a phone? Is it a computer? No, 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 I have to guess. You always have to guess. And that's frustrating sometimes, Esther. Like, seriously, what could, What do you think can be done about this? You know what? This is just in from Jenny, the fact finder. <laughs> Let's see what she has to say. Oh, my God. There are differences in the way male and female brains are structured, how they process information and interact with chemical signals. Some examples, men have more Infor information containing gray matter, but women have more white matter, which connects different parts of the brain. Also, women have bigger memory centers than men. Talk this, to me about that. Yeah. yeah, so this is from askthescience.com. Well, you know what? So there guess, is science behind it. Just They do have bigger memories. They're going to throw something at you two years later. And it's like, <laughs> I don't even remember what I had for breakfast. You want me to remember what happened two years ago? It's like, no, no, seriously, Esther, you know what? Okay, this is what I suggest to all you ladies out there. You, you're living with a man, right? I mean, you know the guy. It's what, 30 years with the guy? Can we please adapt? Can we please start, start thinking a little bit differently? Like, okay, I'm talking to my husband over here. I'm talking to my boyfriend. He needs for it to be clear. So can I do it in such a way that we avoid all these uh, misunderstandings that lead to disagreements that lead to the cold shoulders and all that. Is there any way, Esther, maybe the audience can help us with that. Is there any way that we can find a way that men and women can communicate better? I think the first step is to understand the differences in how we think and how we are physically, hormonally, and how we were brought up just to that in itself understanding. <laughs> Rob, you have a good point. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we got fans. We got fans. Where they go? 34. So what are they, four men? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> yes, listen to Jenny, the fun fact finder. Yes, listen to that. There are <laughs> physiological differences. And by the way, yeah. talking about differences, uh -huh. what's up with the garage and the car? So my boyfriend spends a lot of time in the garage, and it is pristine you can eat off the floor the tools are laid out in in, in size from smallest to largest and they are glistening uh -huh. the car you can eat off the floor exactly it's it's perfection however and i'm very fortunate and grateful he loves to cook but the kitchen is an absolute disaster okay. what's up with that well hang on a sec what is that i mean rob you are wrong oh what? yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Dirty Four. See? The power uh, of persuasion. 
Claudia, we're going to have a talk. Person. We're going to have a talk at the end of yeah, the show. Yeah, a talk. Anyways, okay. <laughs> okay, so well, you wanted to know why the garage is speaking span in the kitchen is not? Right. It, it, Esther, it's very simple. Nobody wants the garage, right? So the man, you know what? It's the only piece of land he can appropriate himself, right? Oh, my God. And he's going to take it as his own. He's going to take it as his baby, all right? <laughs> And it's going to become his own little thing. And he's going to, and all the tools are going to be glistening. I shine out my tools. I know if someone goes into my garage and takes one of my tools and uses it because I can see the fingerprints on them. Esther, I went so far as to naming my car. I oh, my, yeah. Of course. Uh, yeah. Well, Fernando, for his special birthday, bought himself a, a Jag convertible. Wouldn't you know it? It's called. Sorry, Jenny. It's called Jenny. We call it Jenny the Jag. Female name and and a name in addition. Like, why name your car? What's up with that? Listen, I don't understand. I, do I name my toaster or, or my, my stove? I never, <laughs> my appliances are my appliances. So please explain that to me. You should have seen when I got my new car last week at the showroom. It's a used car, by the way. I don't have those, uh, those means to buy a brand new car. I'm I'm like like touching the car, like all the curves and all that. I'm saying, hey, baby, you're my new baby. I'm going to take you home. And as I was driving, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to call you Irene. So I named my car Irene. And we went into the garage. I go, look, baby, look, look, this is your new home over here. I'm talking to the car as if it was a woman. You know why, eh? Because she's my driving force. That's why. Oh, my God. There are definite differences, and maybe we just have to agree to disagree. That's oh, okay. So Jenny says that's only because they don't talk back. Oh my god, <laughs> that is so true. Well, no, no, no. Exactly. hang on a sec. Just a second, Jenny. Hang on a sec. My car doesn't talk back. I'm sorry. My car says um, something. You know, and using the the uh, the navigation. Uh, please uh, be careful. She's talking to me. Please be careful and not to use this something the likes anyway, because I don't listen. Since when does a man listen to a woman anyway? Okay, uh, so yeah, no, no, <clears throat> cough. Sorry, yeah, that's not uh, okay. <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, she's talking to me about not using certain uh, functions as I'm driving, and she's she's talking to me. She found a way to talk to me. Again, let let's you know agree to disagree because <laughs> I can't relate at all. It is weird. Dirty Four <laughs> says it's weird, and I agree. But listen, Rob. Yeah. We asked our audience uh -huh. to send us via video something that they wanted to ch us to chat about or something that they needed to get off their chest or talk about. So we asked them basically, what's on your mind? Can't wait to see this. Yes. So one of our viewers, Alba Kasabi, had this to say. So I was asked to do a video on a subject and my subject today is about people that bring their tired crying children in malls and that uh, have the kid tired and they want to shop because the, they want to buy themselves a, a blouse. It's like, you know what, order the stuff online. I don't want to be shopping with a crying child behind me. That's all I hear. It's like not music to my ears. It's ringing in my ears. So you know what, mothers? Suck it up and stay home with your child or else just go to the park. It's much more fun for the child than to go to a mall. Have a good day. <laughs> wow. That That's, was beautiful. Yeah. And no, there's there's a lot of truth to that, but there's always a backstory as well. So, you know, I yes, I don't like to have that when I go into a store to the, you know, children crying. It's very annoying, but you don't know what's really going on. I mean, the children could I know for myself, having a child with special needs that sometimes his sensory you know, uh, overstimulation would, you know, cause him to get irritated and be upset. Um, 
you know, I couldn't explain that to passerbys or people in the store or wherever I was. So you also have to take in consideration that there is a backstory. But I know you as a bus driver mm -hmm. have some stories to tell. We'll just make one quick little Very story. Good. I had this one child. And, you know, I, the, the child, I was at the bus stop. I was at the terminal. And I could hear his child like miles away crying. And I'm saying, oh, my God, <laughs> lucky bus driver is going to get this kid. And you know who the lucky bus driver was, right? The crying got closer and closer and closer. And that lady ends up coming on my bus. Yay! So I got this crying child. And uh, the, the ride is a half hour. And wouldn't you know it, just to make my life so much fun, this crying child was with me for the entire trip. She got off at the last stop. What a treat, huh? What a great way. It was a Friday. I was about to start my weekend. At one point, this kid was crying so loud, I had to stop the bus. I was at a coffee shop. And then I went and get myself a coffee, and I had to stay there for a couple of minutes because this child was driving me insane. But, you know, now that you're bringing this up over here, it's true. Because we have to sometimes try to realize the underlying fact. What's going on exactly? Why is this child crying like that? And sometimes... We don't understand. Yeah. So that's a good point. At least we can agree on this, Esther. Right? Yes. Thank God. You <laughs> see, we don't we don't always think differently. So Rob. Yeah. Our fifteen minutes are up. It's oh unbelievable. My God, that is so sad. Oh, what are we gonna do, Esther? I don't know. So, any last words? Last words. Yeah. Hey, folks. You know what? We love your participation. Thank you so much for tuning in. We had a very nice turnout. Thank you so much. We would like to ask you this. Uh, from now to next week. Uh, find a subject you would like for Esther and I to talk about, something that you know that is going to cause some kind of a divergence, a difference of opinions, and we can have a lot of something fun. Something else. That. Yeah. Tons of fun. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Esther, give me a quick example. What could it be? Uh, it could be talking about. Oh, my goodness. Um, the, the differences in, let's say, shoes, for instance, men's shoes versus women's shoes, and, and why women seem more obsessed with their shoes as opposed to men. Well, there there's, you go. there's some differences there, uh, again, with female versus male, but that comes up a lot. Uh, you could probably talk about the fact that you're going to these grocery uh, stores and you're paying exorbitant, uh, an exorbitant amount of money and you have to pack your own groceries self-serve stations you know what is it that peeves you guys let us know esther and i we're gonna have a lot of fun with that next week can't wait so esther closing comment very quickly i've had a blast and i want to thank everyone for tuning in during their lunch hour whether you're having lunch about to have lunch or already had your lunch we really appreciate you being here thank you everyone for tuning in and don't forget Monday nights at 8 p.m., it's Rob's Inner Circle. Thursday nights, it's Esther's Breeze at 8 o'clock as well. This upcoming Thursday, tomorrow, special time, 7.30. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And we're going to be seeing you on our respective shows. And next week on Noon, Noon Hour Out of the Box. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Bye.